Hello, I'm Everest Pipkin, here with you today with the COSA Connectors Project. The Clinic for Open Source Arts at the University of Denver is an organization dedicated to the study and support of the open source ecosystem. COSA Connectors is a continuation of that mission, where we highlight free and open source creative tools for making. These are not tutorials, but rather introductions. I'll walk you through what a tool is, how it might be used, how to access it, and why I think you might care about it. The tool I'd like to share with you in this video is called Strike. Strike is a web-based one-bit paint tool, primarily for quick sketching or line drawing, made and maintained by Amorphous. Although Strike is technically a paint program, it issues feature completeness in order to provide a minimal, simple interface that does what it does with focus and attention. Strike lets you select from a palette of 16 different black and white patterns, each treated as a grayscale tone. You can use these patterns to draw or fill in the space of the canvas. There are three differently shaped paint tools, a brush size slider, an eraser, a paint bucket, as well as undo, redo, and some general mirroring and resizing options. Strike runs directly on the web, and it's cross-compatible across all major browsers, including mobile and tablet. The developer mentions that they use Strike to draw on an iPad Pro. I'd personally love to try it with a stylus. You can make compositions directly by drawing on the canvas, but I personally find it to be particularly useful and compelling when importing other images. There are a lot of different ways to convert an image to one bit, aka an image made entirely of black or white pixels, but Strike's particular focus on patterning makes it a specific, and in my opinion, particularly beautiful image. Although you could technically set up a more general paint program to produce similar one-bit images, the ease of use and particular aesthetic language of Strike shouldn't be understated. When you're finished, you can export the image as a 1-bit PNG, which looks exactly like the canvas does on screen, or as a grayscale raw image that you can re-import and strike with all the patterns intact. I'm thinking about using it for the title card of my next game. You can find Strike at strike.amorphic.space or dimorphous.itch.io slash strike. And it, like all of the tools we will share, is open source, so you can always look at its code and learn from how it was made. If you like the project, you can support it and its developer on its itch.io page. That's it for today. Join us for the next tool in the series.